Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're checking in at Vanilla Residence here in Chiang Mai. So any cyclist who's come to Chiang Mai will know this place. This is known as the Cyclist Hotel here in Chiang Mai. And this place just has a bunch of facilities dedicated to cyclists and it's a really cool facility. I wanted to show you guys the full tour, everything that they have here. So if you're looking for a place to stay here in Chiang Mai, and do some bike touring, this is the place to do it. So a really beautiful hotel here, right outside in the front, they've got some rental bikes. So they're telling me that their new rental bikes here are going to be some Kaze race bikes. Kaze is a bike brand based here in Chiang Mai actually, and they're a new sponsor here on the Two Wheel Cruise channel. So if you wanna test out one of their bikes, you can come here, use one of the rental bikes. They've got the red model here. They've got the white model as well. And they have some different frame sizes. If you're a taller rider, they got a 56 size bike as well. So if you're looking for a bike to ride, looking for a place to stay with a bike, this is the place to do it, I think. And let's go check out some of the other facilities. So we're gonna go inside, do a room tour as well, check out some of the different rooms and different sizes that you can stay in. Uh, right now, the Bike Aid Pro Team is actually staying here. They just raced the tour of Thailand and they actually won like a majority of the stages. So we're gonna be interviewing one of the pro riders who's staying here a little bit later in the video. So stay tuned for that interview. And they're riding the Kaze race bikes as well. They're also on the Kansai 2. They've got an awesome custom paint job. And the other cool thing about this hotel is they have dedicated bike parking. So you can park your bike outside here. They've got security watching the bikes all day, 24 seven. So you don't have to worry about your bike getting stolen. I actually rode over here on my folding bike, which I just parked over here for right now. The other really cool thing is this wall of tools. So if you want to work on your bike, they have a whole bunch of different tools here. You don't have to worry about like buying a specific tool that you maybe don't have. And the other really cool thing about this is this is open to everyone. So you don't necessarily have to be staying here, but if you're living nearby, if you're riding nearby, you can come over here and you can use one of the tools if you need to work on your bike, if you've got a flat or something, or you need to tighten something down. So that's really awesome that they're open to the whole community and not just keeping this to themselves. They've also got a wash stand here. So after you work on your bikes, you get your hands all dirty. You can scrub that nasty stuff off of your hands. Moving on, we've got our garbage bins here. I also like how they separate them here. The hotel that I'm staying at right now actually doesn't separate their garbage. So that's one thing I didn't like about there. So it's good to see some garbage separation, recycling going on here. Here's the general parking area, but beyond this, they've got the washing area so you can wash your clothes. But more importantly, they've got the bike washing area. So this is a dedicated bike shower. So after your rides, you can get your bike nice and clean here. Looks like they got uh, two different hoses. So I think you can wash two different bikes at the same time. They've also got a stand here so you can put the bike up on the stand and get it even more clean bunch of different cleaning fluids, some brushes. All right, let's go check out the inside of the hotel now. And right next to the entrance, they've got this map here showing all the most popular routes, all the names, the distances, the amount of climbing, color-coded. And if you wanna download the full route on Strava, they've got the QR codes, so you can even scan this on your phone right now. So this is really cool. I'm gonna have to reference this when I'm planning some of my new routes moving forward. And the first route here, A, Doi Sutep, I think this is gonna be the most popular route. This is a pretty massive climb. You can see, you can climb 1,150 meters. And this is right by the entrance of this hotel. So the hotel is based right here, right where this logo is. So all the rides start here and you can do all these different loops. Of course, there's a bunch more that you can do, but I think these are the, the popular group rides that everyone does. So let's go inside. Looks like they're in the Christmas spirit. This is the first <laughs> Christmas tree I've seen here in Chiang Mai. This is pretty nice. It's a nice little lounge area. You can sit here, have some coffee, maybe work, relax a bit with some other riders. And, oh wow, they've got some pictures here of different riders. I'm guessing some of these people have maybe stayed here. Other ones, just some general cycling artwork. And right next to here, we've got the half trophy room, half bike room. So they've got a bunch of different areas that you can store your bikes. You don't have to worry about security again. After your ride, you can just hang up your bike anywhere on any of the locations. They've got security watching the bikes at all times. So let's see what kind of bikes we got in here right now. We got a Colnago. Ah, we got another, we got a polka dot Canago over here as well. And just a bunch of different trophies. 
So I used to race a lot actually, and I've won a lot of medals, but they don't really do trophies for racing in the US. So that's one thing I was always jealous about of other countries that do trophies in cycling. I've always wanted to win a trophy in cycling, but I've never really won one. Beautiful. And right next to the bike room over here, they've actually got, I'm guessing this is one of the initial sketches when they were designing the bike room. Very cool. And next we're gonna go check out one of the rooms. Oh wow, we got lots more artwork here on the walls. So it looks like we've got four stories in this building. We're gonna go up to the third floor. So that's the other nice thing. If you keep your bike in the bike room, you don't have to worry about bringing your bike in the elevator or on the stairs. You just walk to the elevator and then you grab your bike and you go. Just uh, executive room. Executive room. Okay. So they have three different levels of rooms here. One is the standard, one is the deluxe, and one is the executive. We're going to start in the middle one, the deluxe. So that's over here, 310. Let's check this one out. Over on the side here, we've got a refrigerator, a sink. This is the kitchen area. We've got a microwave and a little table and desk and TV here as well. So let's move over here so you can see a little bit better. So again, this is the deluxe. This is the middle end grade. We're gonna check out the other grades as well. So we're gonna start in the middle and we got lots of windows over here, some good natural lighting. This is the bed here. So a pretty big sized bed should be able to fit two people pretty comfortably. We've also got the, the stands here. So some plugs for both people. If you're reading before you go to sleep or you have your computers or electronics you want to charge. So that's pretty nice. There's also a little corner space and corner windows as well. Moving back over this way, we got the closet. So we got some storage shelves right here. You can put all your cycling goods there. And we've got a closet section here as well. So it looks like this one folds out. We got the mirror section. And these both slide open like that. So you've got a hanging rack here. Looks like it comes with a blow dryer. And just some more shelves. And it looks like we got some big open space storage as well. So you can put your suitcases up there or your bike bag if you flew with your bike here. The other important thing is the air conditioning. You'll definitely want that on the hot days here. Lastly, let's check out the bathroom in here. So we got a little sink section. I like that they have the table here. A lot of the apartments that I've been checking here in Chiang Mai, they don't have this table, it's just the sink. Um, so I really like having the table for storing other things. And over here, this is the toilet, which is right next to the shower. I actually really prefer the showers here. Apparently like the bathtub is considered the luxury here in Thailand, but I prefer the shower. I like it simple, easy to clean. All right, so that's the bathroom, nice and simple. I think next we're gonna go check out the executive. So that one's gonna be a little bit bigger than this one. So here we are right across the hall. This is room 309. This is the executive suite. So let's check out some of the differences in here. And oh yeah, right away, this room is a lot bigger. So we've got a nice little corner dining table here. Just overall, much bigger space here in the living room area. And it's kind of separating the sleeping area. So we've got the, I think this is the same size bed over here, but it's a little bit separated over there, which is nice. And we've got some more large shelves here. It looks like we got the open above storage area for your luggage, your bike bags, and your larger luggage. So yeah, it looks like the same kind of bed sleeping setup. We got the stands on both sides, the power outlets, the lights on both sides. And as for the lighting in here, we've got one big light over here and some smaller lights over on the ceiling over there. From the bed, we got a nice big screen TV over here and some other areas where you can sit and do some work if you wanna use this desk for some computer work or something. You can also use the, the lounges downstairs if you wanna do some desk work, some computer work. <laughs> they have a sofa as well. So if you wanna sit here and read on the sofa next to the window. This one also has a balcony, so that's pretty nice. I guess you can come out here, hang out some of your clothes. I would say you could put your bikes out here, but you don't need to worry about keeping your bikes in the room. So that's the other bonus about these rooms compared to the hotel that we're staying at right now. So the hotel we're staying at right now, we need to 
fit all of our bikes inside the room. So that takes up all the extra space. Um, but here, you don't have to worry about that. You can store all of that downstairs so you can keep all the room in the hotel for yourself. And next, let's check out the kitchen area. So you got a microwave, we got a sink, we got a medium-sized refrigerator over here as well, and some more shelving options for any other kitchen accessories and plates and stuff. So it doesn't look like it comes stocked with too much like silverware. It looks like we got a plate here, a bowl, some spoons. Maybe if you're staying here with two people, they'll give you a double set. Um, but it comes with a kettle, comes with a microwave. So honestly, when we first moved here, we thought we'd be doing more cooking, but <laughs> there's so much awesome food available and it's a lot cheaper actually to get the street food or go to the restaurants than it is to try and cook yourself. Um, so even though we have a, a little bit bigger of a kitchen in the apartment we're staying at right now, we haven't used it to really make anything. So I think this is gonna be more than sufficient for most people who stay here. All right, so I think this door, this must be the bathroom. That's the only thing we haven't seen yet in this tour. So let's check it out. Here we go, we've got the toilet. We've got a similar kind of shower kind of setup. We've got the shower curtain here. Yeah, same style sink, same style table. And lastly, we're gonna go check out the standard option. So this is the budget friendly option if you don't need that much space. I think this one will be a little bit cheaper. I'll add the info for all the prices here in case you wanna see the rate differences between the different rooms. Actually, this room is really big. Okay, so this is actually the same size as the deluxe room. The main difference, I think, is the deluxe has a little bit bigger of a kitchen area, so maybe some more table and storage space. So we've got the similar style kitchen, similar style refrigerator. I think, yeah, most of the accessories are gonna be the same. You're mainly paying for, I think, the, the bigger space and some of the extra accessories. Yeah, this room is more than sufficient. This is the, the lowest level room, but this is definitely more than satisfactory, especially if you're here alone. We've got the same dining table here in the corner. We've got the same closet here, the same storage space. So yeah, all the rooms are pretty similar. I don't think you're really losing anything in this room actually. So yeah, from checking out all the rooms, I would say this is the best value. And we've got the same bed. And this one actually is right next to the balcony. And then from the bed, this is the entertainment area. So we got the same setup here, the same TV. Looks like we got some more storage space over here in the corner as well. So yeah, this room is definitely not standard at all. Pretty awesome. I think all the rooms here are about 30 square meters. All right, and here's the current pandemic rate. So if you're looking for a good deal, I recommend coming right now because there's awesome deals in Chiang Mai right now as they're waiting for tourism to come back. So for the standard room, it's about 7,000 Thai baht a month, which is an amazing deal. So usually you just multiply it by three, move to decimal places. So that's a little over $200 a month. And for the deluxe, it's 8,000 baht and the executive room, 9,000 baht. So for the executive room, there's two different options. One with one bed, that's the one that we saw, but you can also get one with two beds if you have other people you're staying with your family. So uh, the most expensive option is still less than $300 a month. That's less than what we're paying at our current hotel. and. I think it's really worth it with all the different extra facilities that you're getting here. You have a nice safe place to store your bike, you have security, you can wash your bike. What's even better than that is you have a bunch of riders almost every day. I think they have group rides going on. So you always have people to ride with. They've got the DIY stand here so you can work on your bikes. And just being surrounded by like-minded people, people who like cycling, I think that's just a really good environment to be in. So if you're looking for a cycling vacation here in Chiang Mai, this seems to be the place to stay. So another cool thing about this hotel is a lot of pro riders will often stay here and we've spotted one of them. We're here with Lucas from Bike Aid. All right, so can you introduce yourself real quick? Yeah, my name is Lucas Kastensen. I'm from Germany. I'm riding for the German team Bike Aid since five years now. Awesome, and I saw you guys just participated in the Tour of Thailand. It's quite a good race for us. We won some stages and now we're staying here with five guys of the six. One guy had to go home, but the rest decided stay here for at least the month of December. Yeah, and you said you also stayed here last year as well for some training? Yeah, not only training. I basically lived here for almost four months in Vanilla. Mm -hmm. And for my time in Chiang Mai, I was here. It's, it's quite a nice place. Yeah, so why did you decide to stay here for your training? Ah, for training, Chiang Mai is just the perfect place. It's, uh, at least in the winter, it's relatively cool for Thailand. It's, it's not crazy hot. It's like 30 degrees, so you, you can ride and short, short, but you're not 
overheating all the time and yeah the weather's been great it's been it's really comfortable in the morning like nice and cool and doesn't get too hot during the day yeah and, and the roads are amazing like you have so many opportunities to, to ride you move mountains you can ride the flat and there's a big cycling scene a lot of guys live here and ride so you always mm -hmm. find people to ride with yeah so which do you like do you like to ride in the mountains or do you like to train in the flats uh, I, I like to train in the mountains yeah. I don't like to race in the mountains because I'm a sprinter, <laughs> but right. I like to ride in the mountains. It's, it's more fun and mm -hmm. also you see a bit more, I would say. Here you, you have quite the, the difference to the city. When you ride out, you, you see some small villages and it's, it's quite, quite nice. Yeah, so what's your favorite or recommended climb or route around here? I think the Deutsche Tap is just amazing. It's, it's I think from here it's like five minutes to ride there and then you can ride up for an hour, depending how fast you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just very unique for a city to have such a climb directly. Yeah, places. we're right in the heart of the big city and like, like you said, just five minutes from here you're climbing up a giant mountain. So Lucas is going to show us his race bike. I'm riding a Thai bike actually because we are cooperating with the Thai brand Kaze. It's a Kansai 2. It's a pretty cool bike in my opinion also. We got an amazing custom paint job for the team. Yeah, I'm actually going to be getting the same bike next week. So you said you're a sprinter. Is this a, a sprinter friendly bike? I would say it's very, very sprinter friendly. It's ever either 55 chain ring. Yeah. Now I, I mounted a big cassette, some small chain ring for the mountains here in Chiang Mai. Uh huh. Got some nice new wheels from Kazif Pearl actually. Are you riding the Pearl wheels? Yes. We'll okay. Ride some for next year in the races. We actually already rode some into Thailand. Yeah. It's one of the best fields I've ridden, I think. It's, it feels amazing. So for anyone who's new to the Kaze brand, uh, Pearl is their in-house brand, so they also make some different components, some different wheels, some carbon handlebars and stems and stuff like that. It's a pretty awesome bike. And what size are you? I'm 175. I'm riding a 52 bike. 52? Okay. I have a very long stem. I have 120 uh, millimeter stem. Yeah. I get a custom uh, stem cap. <laughs> I, I ride a 38 handlebar, which is pretty narrow for the stem. So awesome, thanks for showing us your bike. And what kind of room are you staying in here? I'm staying in the deluxe room. The deluxe room? Got an upgrade to that one. Yeah, very nice. Room 204. <laughs> my favorite room, all the way on the edge. Yeah? So. All right, so if any newcomers are coming here to Chiang Mai to go cycling, you can go knock on room 204. Lucas will come take you for a tough ride, drag you around. All right, Lucas, thanks for your time. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to give a small interview here. All right, enjoy the rest of your time in Chiang Mai. You too. So a big thank you again to Vanilla Residence for letting me come out and film this video and check out some of the rooms. We're definitely going to keep this place in consideration as we're looking for a more long-term solution for a place to stay. If you're looking for a cycling trip here in Chiang Mai in the future, go check out their website. We'll link it down below so you can get more information. And that's going to be it for today's video. We want to say a special thank you to all of our awesome supporters over on Patreon. Thanks to your guys' support, we're able to go around and film more of these kinds of videos. So we really appreciate your guys' support. And that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Make sure to give the video a like before you leave. If you want to see more videos like this, let us know down in the comments where would you like us to go next. And we'll see you next time here on Two Wheel Cruise. Mm -hmm.